Haters. You can't escape them, but you can deal with them properly. In this video, I'll tell you how. Welcome to the show. My name is Domingo and today we're going to be talking about haters and how haters can really affect your YouTube experience. Everybody will get them. Even if you're starting out on YouTube, you will be subject to haters. Now what is a hater that many people will ask? Well, let's just say that a hater is somebody that will cause intentional harm over the internet towards a specific individual. Basically, people that just hate on your work no matter what reason that it is. They sometimes will say your videos suck because you don't look appealing or your videos suck because you don't know what you're talking about or they'll say your videos suck because they just don't like you. They don't like watching you. They don't like hearing about you. They don't like hearing your voice and they don't like what you are doing. Even if you've done nothing wrong, they will still do it. Now there are two differences between them. There's the hater and then there's the troll. The trolls generally just have bad grammar whenever they leave feedback or comment on your page, but a hater will generally look at your videos and see what you're about and then they'll give you hate. I still get haters too, but not as much because my channel doesn't really reach that far. But here are five ways that you can deal with haters. And these ways have helped me out and I don't generally let haters get to me because I'm busy making my own videos and doing my own thing. So the first tip, ignore them. Because that's all they're gonna do. They're gonna make fun of the way you talk, the way you look, the way you present yourself, and also the way that you do your thing on YouTube. Because half of the time, they're either jealous of what you're doing or they wish they could do what you're doing and then they lash out their true feelings at you. Those are some possibilities of why haters are generally hating on you. They are just going to do that. Second tip, block their comments. You don't really need those comments on your page, but if you want to leave that comment there as just a reminder of what haters are about, feel free to do that too. Because that way, if you don't let hate get to you, and if you find those comments offensive or hurtful to you, then I strongly suggest you delete them if they trigger some things for you. Because let's face it, there are going to be things that haters will say and that you will get triggered by them. So if you want to avoid those triggers, you delete the comments. The third thing, block them. If they are just getting so out of hand with what they're saying to you, simply block them. But the best thing to do before you block them is just to see what they are trying to convey across their message. I mean, don't generally shut out people right away, but if they constantly keep doing it, then the best solution will be to block them. And also as a side note, don't reveal any personal information about yourself to people that you don't know over the internet because that way, if they find out where you live and what you do, then that's a possibility of them making things a lot worse. So the best thing to do for that is just to block them and don't drop your docs. Those are another, another tip that I can share with you. Number four, move on with it. Because there's always going to be somebody that will not like you for you. And that is the reality. The reality is people will criticize you no matter what you do. You may have done previous YouTube videos on your channel and that was in the past and then somebody will bring up past videos and will say, why are you doing this? Why are you making fun of so-and-so or why are you talking about so-and-so when you have no idea about so-and-so or such and such? That is something that will happen eventually. It has happened with me in several other videos that I've made, but those videos were made years ago and that is not a representation of my current work I do now. So if you will get those kinds of comments, but you just have to know how to move on from them and go forward. And the final tip, don't put your energy on the haters. Because let's face it, there will be people that will just take up a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, and also just a lot of your money if it comes to that. And I hope it does not come to that because let's face it, why should we give our creative energy and our time to those that don't like us? We shouldn't. We're bigger than that. We're better than that. And we feel 
that if we do give them an inch, they'll just crawl up in your skin and not get out. So just remember, you're not alone in this battle. You're not the only one that has haters. Everybody does, even me. So until then, everybody, thank you so much. Have a great week. And remember, domination is near. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.